What's up guys, I've got an unboxing and first look on a Skyler wide margin ESV. I've um, been waiting on this Bible for a while. Um, it was on pre-order for a few months and I finally got it in. It's in black goat skin. Let's take a look. Well, it's a beautiful, rainy, relaxing day at the office. And here's the uh, Skyler Bible. It's got some fresh coffee, of course. Here is the Skyler Wide Margin. I love what they do. They package it so nicely. It came in a box with peanuts, as you saw. And it comes in this beautiful bubble wrap. And here it is. Guys, I have to say, this is probably my favorite Bible and I, I haven't even gotten into it yet. Um, the goat skin leather is a mix between your typical Skyler goat skin and like a Highland goat skin. Um, in my opinion, the grain is very deep, very large. You've got some scarring. And again, this may not be for every one of their wide margins, but this specific one, the leather is just phenomenal. My goodness. On the spine, of course, you have your Skyler emblem, uh, your English Standard Version. You've got uh, six raised hubs, nothing on the back, but, but that beautiful, almost uh, Highland goatskin grain. It just feels like Highland. Man, it's super soft, super supple. Love it. You will notice this Bible's thick and it's tall. Um, I'm an adult sized male, there's my hand. So it's a very large Bible. With it being a wide margin, it's not gonna be one that you carry around with you everywhere you go. But more on that. Of course, you've got your beautiful dark red um, inner liner, goat skin leather cover. The corners, the corner work on this is probably some of the best corner work I've seen from Skylar. You've got the beautiful gold uh, gilting around the edge. This Bible is edge lined. And then opening it up, you've got your new Skylar presentation page. Kind of growing on me. I didn't like it when I first uh, saw this in the Quintel I got, but I'm kind of growing. It's kind of growing on me. Marriages, deaths, births, and all that stuff. Holy Bible. Here is your copyright page. This was uh, printed and bound in the Netherlands by Royal Youngblood. The paper it comes from France, and of course it was designed um, by Skyler Bibles and Evangelical Bibles in Virginia. Now going in, you've got your table of contents, your preface, as always, kind of explaining the uh, translation, and then the Old Testament. Now going right into the text, you see this beautiful, beautiful uh, double column format. You've got your cross-references down at the bottom. Now, I just want to show you on the PSQ, we'll just open up to Genesis as well, and we'll show you how it is, how it matches. And this goes all the way from the PSQ all the way up to the wide margin with the quintel in between. All right, here we are. So there's both of them. You'll see that the footnotes are in the same exact spot. The cross-references are the same exact. And then your Genesis chapter one is the same. This is the same pagination for the PSQ, the regular size quintel, and the wide margin. So if you're somebody who has photo memory and you love to memorize scripture and, and you like to know where things are at in your Bible, this is, a, this is the kind of line that you wanna have, the lineup that you wanna have. So looking at the Bible, you've got your cross-references here, footnotes down at the bottom, like I mentioned. You have this beautiful wide margin format. You've got about an inch and a half on the bottom and the top. And I would say about an inch on both the inner margin and the outer margin. Now, this is a new printing. Um, they have released a uh, wide margin in the Canterbury um, and the, the King James Version. I believe this is the first printing for the ESV. And what I'm seeing 
is they listened to their uh, buyers and they've, it seems like they've expanded the wide margin on the inner margin. Um, from previous reviews that I saw online, it did seem as though it was a little bit shorter, but you know, that, that the text was more in the gutter, but it seems like they remedied that for this, uh, this ESV edition. And of course you've got your red, uh, chapter numbers, the book and verses are in red. And of course your reference suite at the bottom has cross references in red. I absolutely love it. Um, this paper, man, I gotta be honest. It's the best, best Bible paper I've ever had. Um, Schuyler is really well known for their, for their paper it comes from France, as I mentioned. Um, so smooth. This paper, however, is 40 GSM. So this Bible was made to write in. It was made to highlight. It was made to get messy. And that's what I plan on doing with it. Again, 40 GSM paper, probably some of the thickest Bible paper I've ever seen in a Bible. And that is kind of why it is, a, you know, three inches thick, almost three inches thick, uh, two and a half maybe. It's a very thick Bible. Now, the uh, red under gold is very deep and rich, as Schuyler's typically are. Heading into the New Testament, this is a black letter text, so the the, the you know the, the words of Jesus Christ are not in red. It is black letter. Um, that may be a downfall for some of you, but I, I've kind of gotten used to it. Moving back to the back, we've got a rather large concordance. Um, I, I would imagine their concordance matches both. Well, the Quintel. Um, pretty small font for the concordance, as is typical with Schuyler. Um, but it's a very, very big and good concordance. It's thick. I mean, you're looking, we're still, you know, this is eight, 1581, 1621, we're still in concordance. And we're only in P, so it goes on for quite some time. Now, one of the biggest things I love about this Bible, and something I've looked forward to the most is the lined notebook paper. They've got a bunch of lined notebook paper, double column. I don't know how many pages, um, but it's quite a lot. You're definitely not going to run out anytime soon. Now, they do put lined notebook paper in the PSQ. They don't put it in their, in their uh, thin line quintel, which is kind of unfortunate, but they do have a bunch in the wide margin edition. And coming from a Cambridge wide margin, uh, this is something I really enjoy because that's that's one of the benefits of a Cambridge is the line paper in the back. Of course, you got your Bible maps. Um, you know they're they're very they're they're the Schuyler Bible maps. Nothing new there. You've got your index to maps, kind of cool. And then at the end, you've got um, just a few pages of blank paper. So it seems like what they've done because um, I've watched a lot of reviews on the Schuyler wide margin, um, and they, it was under the K, uh, KJV edition, what it seems like they've done is they've gotten rid of the blank pieces of paper that were actually before the line notebook paper, and they just went straight into the line notebook paper. Um, that's not a huge deal for me. Um, I'm fine with that. I think it was a smart move just to save space. It's already a thick enough Bible as it is, so that's kind of, in my opinion, that's a smart move by Schuyler. Now you got your three red Beresford ribbons. Again, this is the same exact Bible as your Quintel and the PSQ, just wide margin. And I am in love with it, man. I, I cannot wait to start taking notes in this. I'm gonna start as soon as this video is over. Um, just absolutely beautiful. Just to kind of get more of a look on the, uh, the pages and the layout here. Let's go to Psalms and see what the, uh, yeah. So Psalms, you've got a poetic setting. Just, man, like almost, almost even two inches down here at the bottom, which is absolutely stellar. Um, and then, of course, when you have books end, you've got all this space right here. So this could even be, the end of a book could even be a spot for an introduction or more, more intro or more information on the book. Let's just say we're in Ezra right now. You could... At the back of the at the back of Ezra here, you could put the context of the the letter, um, or the book and why it was written and so on and so forth. So, 
Guys, if you're looking for a wide margin Bible, I would recommend spending the extra money on this. Um, portability, you're not going to have as much, but as far as being a desk Bible and uh, just an everyday study Bible, this is what you want. This is the kind of quality of Bible you want in your collection. I also forgot to mention it does come with a semi-yap, um, which is new. Um, Skylers typically don't come with much of a yap at all, and so this one comes with about a quarter to half inch yap, and then of course your perimeter stitching. So that's it, guys. That is the Skyler Wide Margin Quintel in Black Goatskin ESV translation. I will drop a link in the description below. I know Sky or Evangelical Bible has a bunch of these in stock now, in multiple colors. So go ahead and check it out. Pick one up. I'd highly recommend it. Well, until next time, see you guys.